we're here at the uh, Global Platform TE conference is that uh, there's a lot of very interesting technologies in mobile devices to secure the device and the TE plays a very important role. So the purpose of the TE is to um, make an ecosystem of applications available, uh, making use of mobile security, uh, bringing the innovation that we see in app stores uh, to mobile security. So obviously with so many people relying on a particular implementation, with so many people trying to build applications and develop business models even, um, it's really important to have something that they can rely on, something they can understand um, and something that, that has real choice in the marketplace. So um, the Global Platforms TE specification is what uh, we as an industry are all working towards uh, to make that stable uh, base that people can rely on, build secure services and really take advantage of, of innovation in the ecosystem without uh, bringing some of the risks that we've seen in the past. Well, standardization is very important in this environment because uh, the mobile environment is uh, very fragmented, uh, which is good, which means that we have a lot of choices in terms of uh, OEMs and devices that we can use, in terms of operating systems that we can use, in terms of uh, applications that can be put on top of these operating systems. And that's a great thing, but on the, on the other side, all this fragmentation is something which is very hard to handle unless you can have someone like uh, an entity like Global Platform providing uh, a commonality, a set of standards that have to be respected and are uh, a guiding principle for all, for everyone that has to participate in the implementation of a solution. So one of the great challenges in, in any new platform or capability is standardization. And partially because we can't control what users want to buy. They get up in the morning and they like this branded smartphone or that branded smartphone and your teenagers come home and they want the other one in pink and, and that defines ultimately what the environment is. And so if you're accustomed to using a specific service, standardization makes it possible that that service will run across all of your different devices in a similar manner and in a manner the user is accustomed to. And so T provides us now with greater effort on standardization and the deployment of standards. It provides an environment where we can count on the fact the applications will run on the devices that are certified to have that environment. So we're heading into the world of wearables. If you have something like a pair of glasses that now have cameras or microphones, the ma so the, what becomes critical is the management of all of those devices and the information that they may store or convey. So think of anything as being a storage element or communications element. The TEE can facilitate basically trust and manageability for all of those. I would go beyond mobile, I'd go beyond say mobile devices as we think of them today and move forward. The number is going to grow explosively. And so standardization is really critical in, in the aspect of scalability. Um, the one part of the standardization is also certification, right? In the past, we would work with the individual chip vendors and, and set-top box vendors, and we could certify their products. But again, in the retail space, we don't know what devices will show up on the market tomorrow, and so we cannot certify them all. So having a certification process that guarantees that this particular device or this particular instance of the TEE is trustworthy is, is, is a must for the industry. I think the, it's important to achieve interoperability. This is key uh, to ensure a seamless use for the end user. And uh, the uh, compliance program is a way to provide this uh, uh, confidence in the product that has been developed. Uh, seeing the progress uh, the standards are made since uh, 
we met here last year and some of the real world examples we're seeing in the demos today, I think that's really good to see uh, the progress. I think it's impressive to see how many actors are gathered here and to see um, the force to be pushing this movement right now. So, um, actually, what I like was that people are openly talking about the challenges. Nobody's, nobody seems to be hiding anything, and which gives me a, a, a hope that we, we will fix it soon, right? Um, and, and I see progress from last year. Um, a lot of things happened, and uh, you know we, we are doing demos and proof of concepts. So, so I think it's going in the right direction. I think it's, it's got a good future, and I like the way that the Google platform is organizing it to stimulate a lot of interchange and a lot of dialogue, and that's how things work nowadays. You know, openness and uh, you know, getting things out rather than this closed proprietary stuff that's of the past. Things don't move that well. Yeah, my colleague just uh, told me when we were sitting there, he said, well, we must come next year as well, this is great. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you know, as I said, I hope that next year we'll be here uh, talking about more applications uh, that are deployed at scale using this technology. Do I have to wait a year? I would come in six months. <laughs>